<laughs> I said Christ. <laughs> and, and the four. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> because of what he just did before, right the, before the you little, said. Who knows if that'll come in next little uh, spasm there. Great. <laughs> but yeah, I said Christ because I want to talk about religion. What about Muhammad? That's religion, religious, or it's also a name. It's one of the most common names. Read a fucking book. (laughs) Super bad shout out. But we definitely all have a little bit of a different religious background. Definitely different beliefs now. So I want to go around and talk about some of ours and talk about some of the issues, I guess you could say. I don't want to say problems because that sounds bad because there's not problems for some people. But I almost feel like, Nick, you should start off as the... (laughs) The most the, religious of the us. Resident the resident religious yeah. person. Resident pastor the resident and scientist. scientist. And religious person. That makes yeah. no sense. <laughs> it really it's almost doesn't. contradictory, but yeah. not really. But that's that's a part of the problem, too. Yes. That shouldn't be contradictory. Yeah, why, why is it? Why do we have this stigma that religion is contradictory to science? Beginning. Not necessarily. That in, in Catholicism, for instance, it is accepted that the Big Bang is possible. Like, it's not just outright rejected. You know, it's just right, a but different it didn't start avenue. Out as that did it? I mean, you know, it was, was the creationism debate. I can't fully conclusively say I'm not a religious authoritative no, figure. The, the debate definitely. is creationism versus evolution. Like everyone. No, no, no. It's not creationism versus evolution. No one disputes. Well, there are people that dispute, but those aren't the 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 doctrine of the church. If I'm correct, don't quote me on this. But the last time I checked, I'm pretty sure that evolution is accepted as well as creationism. Like just because. Evolution exists doesn't dispute creationism. You know what I mean? I like forget, the first I don't know, yeah, I don't know which specific trip. I watched the whole well, Ken just, Ham versus Bill Nye debate, which was all that about was a Ken mess. Ham. Yeah, everyone. Regards, which I think everyone should go watch that. Every, but no, it's completely. It, it's a waste of time because it, it, they spin in circles the whole time. Not but, only they spin in circles, but honestly, Ken, Ken Ham's argument was not that good. No, honestly, I, he didn't. Really and I and an again, like you know, I am coming from who yeah. I am. Like it wasn't a good argument. There were much better arguments to make. But, but before we get full, so what is yes, your background? But, so I was born and raised Catholic. Uh, you know, I attended church group, all that stuff. You know, I met my my lovely girlfriend there. We're still together three years plus strong. And I definitely believe in God, no doubt there. But as I've grown, I've started to, I don't want to say take a more agnostic approach, but take a more agnostic approach in the sense that there are a lot of problems with organized religion and not because the religion itself, more so the people and the way that they interpret what the religion is supposed to stand for, in other words. Agreed. Like what when Catholicism originated, the people practicing were way different than the people today. And their intentions may have or may have not been more different. Like, you know, maybe we've improved in some aspects, descended in some aspects. I don't mean to laugh because I raise my hand, but usually every time I raise my hand it's for something really fucking stupid out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah. Are you talking about when you say like different people interpret it differently? Are you talking about like mass people or like the extremists? That I'm say? both both, Both. Okay. I mean, extreme extremism is going to exist in every group of people. Extremism ex- exists in atheism as well, and that's yeah. not even a religion. You know, there's a, there's going to be extreme people in all. I'm saying because that's the hot topics, like the radical extremists and all sorts of groups. Yeah, but so I don't know if you're talking about me- just them specifically. Or no, no, I'm talking about both. Yeah. I'm talking about both because a lot of a lot of people, a lot of people I know as well, a lot of it, they're like, yeah, you know, like let's let's take morality. Let's jump into morality, for instance. They'll be like, you know. I guess I, like I'm not supposed to do this, but it's fun, so I'm gonna do it anyway. But they're like almost they're going against the morality that they have in their own head, and just trying to justify it with their own actions. Versus like, I believe everyone should it, everyone that is that has a faith. I do believe everyone should go and question that faith. You should if you're a Catholic, you should read the New Testament. You should read the Old Testament. You should understand what your religion is about, what the foundations do think, are. Do you think it's important if they're going to? If, if even if they're not like gonna preach about it or like that's not like a big fact of their like outward life, if that makes sense to you, like well, what if they're just like and I don't want to say like closet religious, but they're religious in their own way, but they're follow, that's fine like, Catholicism. Too. That's Do you think it's still important for them to read? Uh, it depends on what you want out of it, honestly. Like, because I view that as being informed to be able to like argue for one sake or the other. You're saying to read the Old Testament so that you're able to speak about it, not necessarily speak about it, but understand like. I even like reading this information. I'm informed that I still accept this. Why is this line in here? Like, for instance, let's let's say there was a line about, you know, hating a certain group of people, right? 
why is this the case? Why is this being interpreted the case? Because maybe that's not the actual intended interpretation. You know, you got to keep in mind, like a lot of the original verses and, and everything that originated as religion was word of mouth and wasn't immediately translated and wasn't immediately translated in English. So yep. I believe that, I like to believe at least, you know, of course, like there's no, I have no proof in any way that no one has any proof in any way. I like to believe that the original creation of certain religions was perfect. If that makes sense. Like for right, instance, but there was always slavery. No, I, I'm not, I'm not going there. Like allow me to, to finish what I'm trying to say. What may have been originally created and intended as the Bible through multiple translations across the entirety of human history. Like you gotta exi- you know, the game of telephone. It's a ga- giant yeah. game of telephone where a lot of the meaning has been lost. I believe because if you if you believe if you take a step back and you say you believe in God again and you believe in um, in an omnipotent and loving God and you read thing and you also believe that we were made in His image, right? Like we were made in God's image in theory, and He's also all loving. So if there's something that we see that's like you know, I can't see in what area that could be morally right. I like to believe that that might have been a mistranslation. I like to believe that you know that's not indicative of what Catholicism should be, and that could have been. A remnant of people, you know, writing the Bible and whatnot. And so I look at it like that. I like to believe in a very, I want to say, uh, intention based morality, like taking a step back, looking at all those things. Why would that have been the sentiment at that time? Why is it not relevant now? Why was it probably not relevant at all? All that stuff. But the big thing is you should question your faith if you wish to do that, of course. Um, I know I'm rambling a lot, so let me let me, so. let me bring it back together to just say, if you blindly follow anything, and you're gonna like start Why? preaching about it and start doing anything about it, like that's not really, I would argue that's not really morally right. If I don't if I don't read anything about Catholicism and I tell you like, yeah, Catholicism's the right. I way think to that's go. like a great life thing because I don't <laughs> like like even on this show we don't necessarily do topics about politics because we don't all feel super informed on mm-hmm. the, the conversation. And we don't want to spread information. Exactly. Like we want to feel comfortable what we're talking about. Exactly. Yeah. And not spread misinformation. Um, God, I forgot, whatever you were just saying off that. Yeah. The, I take, but, I guess, I, but I think it's almost like more important with the religion because of what it's supposed to stand for and everything. What it's supposed to. You, yeah. you, you use that word supposed to. Yeah. And that's the thing. I think the meaning has been long lost and that people really, again, are... People are at fault, not God, if you believe in, again, in all loving and, and omnipotent yeah. God. And of course, like, you know, there's no there's no one to say, like, how is my religion any more right than Judaism or Islam or spaghetti flying spaghetti mouth? Like, there's no way to, to say that. I believe what I believe. I respect everyone else's right to believe what they believe or not believe what they don't want to believe. And that's fine. The big thing is there's there's no... I don't believe there's any morally right area for any religion or non-religion where I'm saying you're believing that you're wrong, you're stupid. Which, out of everyone, I don't like to give you a compliment ever in life. But I feel as though, out of anyone who I consider like very religious, like I consider you, like compared to other people, like I feel like you've done it like right. Like you're very religious, you do your certain things because of that, but you never impose on any other yeah. motherfuckers thoughts or ideas or tell them what they're supposed to yeah. do. And that's the shit that turned me off. Of course. And again, to religion. The people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I mean, maybe I would have stuck with it. Like I'm not going to name my church, but I think we all <laughs> went to the, us three went to the same church, I believe. Yeah. And you know, it's stupid, but it like one of the few first things that like burned me really bad was you know, these money baskets and mm-hmm. we're just waving them in front like in front of our faces each and every week and I understand, you know, Obviously, they have to make money, but I remember these people giving me, like, nasty faces when I wouldn't put anything in it and, like, shaking it in front of my face and shit. I was like, how is this focused on money? And I know it's a very small part, and maybe that's stupid for me to turn off, but then... No, no, That was, like, that was the foundation for me to start questioning everything. Yeah. And then that led to my own beliefs, which is I don't believe in a God. Yeah. I consider myself culturally Catholic, because that's how I was raised Mm. and grew up, but I don't believe in a God. I believe in karma. Yeah. I believe in a higher power. I don't know what that is, because I don't believe we just came from nothing or the big bang mm-hmm. or whatever it is. Cause we don't know yet. So I can't really say I believe in that idea, but that's what I'm saying. Like you questioned it. You came to that resolution yeah. on your own. You're not just doing it because that's what you were taught. That's what you were told. Like even me, I was taught and told this, but I still went on my own and said, is this the, what I choose to yeah. believe or is it what I've been told my whole life? 
and it still is what I choose to yeah, believe. I believe faith is a powerful thing, and I think it's great for some people mm. who believe in it. Like absolutely, that's what yeah. they need, and it works for them. And I don't care what you do as long exactly. as you're not imposing on me, exactly, right? like, trying exactly. to tell me how to live my life. That's where I get burned with some of this. Exactly. Stuff. And there are a lot of people that ruin that for there other are. people. I completely yeah. agree, and I know that exists in in all aspects of life. Yeah, even atheism. Like I can't go on Reddit and even go on it. Like say there's an ask Reddit thing that's like, why do you believe in God? All the comments are like, oh, I don't. He doesn't exist. Blah blah blah. And like, I'll try and have like an insightful conversation. Like, oh, you're clearly an idiot because you believe in God. Like automatically. I'm like, well, that's toxic to that argument as well. There's, no, there is there's, no pe- argument. there's bad people everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's no no. There's no argument. So. I, I really tangented a lot. Well, no, I'm gonna uh, go back take, on that. But I'll get these two, Kevin. Yeah, what yeah. Are your beliefs first. So, I mean, I was raised Catholic, and you know, my parents still go to church every Sunday. That stuff. I haven't consistently gone to church in a long time, and there's really no. You go on holidays still? Or that. Yeah, I still go on your... holidays. There's. So I don't know. I don't know where I stand with religion because I got so much other stuff sort of going <laughs> on. Yeah. That, like. That's sort of almost one of the last things I think about. But I like to believe that, you know, there's something. 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 But you're not sure there. if it's necessarily a God. Uh, like, I don't know. Because like, mine's kind of like a phony answer where it's like I say a higher power, but God is a higher power, right? Yeah, but there's mm-hmm. multiple. Yeah, like there, there could are, be anything you can yeah, consider it's an yeah. alien to yeah. be your higher power. There are yeah. monotheistic religions. They're multi-theistic, I guess, for lack of a better term. I don't know what words you you're know? saying there. But... You yeah, could I mean, I'm, say bacon is your higher power. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Flying but, spaghetti I'll call you, monster. I'll call you stupid, yeah. but <laughs> more power <laughs> to you, I guess. I'm in a bit of a weird state with religion because, I mean, you know, an all good, all powerful God that you speak of, then why are there infant children getting mm-hmm. stricken with awful, awful diseases? Yeah. And stuff? Like, there's stuff like that, but I mean, you know, there's it can't everything can't be all honky dory yeah. all the time so i mean i don't know well that was one of the things that turned me off again as a kid where it was like you start to hear about at least all, like all i heard yeah, is yeah. all about the good yeah and yeah. the great and what we could do going forward yeah. and you look around it's like friends parents died yeah. like how is that was very okay. sad things absolutely and i i don't have an answer for that you know like i'm not gonna say god works in mysterious ways because that's a cop-out answer it's also I know a, it's a cop-out answer by you too at the end of the day like you know, it's hard to say how much involvement there is. You know, is he just like snow globe looking at us, seeing what happens, rolling the dice for each or is person? He just bowling when there's thunder. Like I, you know, I definitely don't have a good enough opinion on that anyway of my on myself because that's that's a very hard topic to say. Because I'm not also what am I going to say? Those people were born to do that. I can't say mm-hmm. that either. You know. Well, I have more questions for you, but I'm going to ask Mike. <laughs> of course, please. I'll do the best I can. I also want to preface that I do not stand for all Catholics, and I'm sure that mm. some people may see this and be like, oh, no. this is blasphemic, you know, whatever. I'm speaking for myself only. Blasphemy. Just 15 <laughs> Hail Marys. <in> <laughs> <laughs> just, just to have that. No, you, you know what? That's another great thing of my church, like at uh, Rutgers, that I have to say. Like, the priests weren't just cookie cutter, do this amount of, you know, prayers and do that. They like, touched it, little boys. It was, uh, no, no. <laughs> Like I know, sure? I know that's funny to make the joke, but these are actually it, it does happen again. Yeah. But there are pedophiles in every in group of people. It did, yeah. unfortunately. But there are there are pedophiles in every group. There are pedophiles in the Catholic Church. There are pedophiles, but the people closest to God again they shouldn't they be shouldn't be. But again, that all ties back to why it's the people, which yeah. is what I originally said. So, but these these guys were great. These priests were great, um, and they when I did go to confession, they would often do things that I wouldn't have thought of, like. You know, like maybe pray for the the craziness in the Middle East or something like that. Like, uh, this is not at all what they said, uh, but like, yeah. it would be unique. It wouldn't just be like do ten Hail Marys, do an arbitrary number of prayers. Like keep this in your thought tonight. Do this, okay. and I th- I really appreciate that. It made me think about things that I didn't normally think about. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyways, back back to you, because <laughs> Rosa had a question for you, and I t- I no, hijacked I, I, it. I, just questions. So no, I, was just, I was just gonna say, like I feel like. All the like religious books and stuff were more meant to be like a story of morals than an actual like 
recording of events that actually happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I just I feel saying. like they were just actually just really fucking well written stories. Yeah, is, mm-hmm. that isn't, are, it, isn't the Bible or whatever? Isn't it literally just years upon years, like a, just a collection of of different stories that people years later found a way to sort of I honestly come have together. No idea, yeah. but that's just how I interpret all mm-hmm. like. I've never even read any of them, but I'm just saying like that's how I feel like they were they were meant to be like they're just stories and they're meant to be like stories of morals. Which I know Nick, that's what Nick not preaches, but that's what you like to talk about. Mm -hmm. That people need to see that side of it more than yeah. This is what you do, and you're supposed to do so literally from this book that was written yeah two thousand ago where the world it's, was fifteen hundred times all contextual. The fact that if you're gonna follow the book, then why are you changing it? Like people change it for today's world views and stuff which is good because that'd be shitty if they practiced the stuff that they <laughs> yeah. did back then but like that still doesn't make sense if no. you're gonna follow the religion follow the religion don't change it you it, can't change it that's it, not how it's for instance you look at science when we learn new things the biology textbook's gonna change right yeah. why would learning new social things learning but new other things not Jesus change was that alive back then so he should have like everything back then should have been concrete. You're saying, but again, yeah, like, you got to keep in mind, as, as I was saying as well in the beginning, what he may have originally put out there may have been perfect, and then through the game of telephone that we were talking about, that meaning could have been lost. You know what right. I'm saying? And again, I, as I said, yeah, I don't have all the answers. I can't even like preach to have all the answers by any means, and that's my own feeling of what I believe it is. Because again, I do believe in an omnipotent, all loving God. And to believe in an all loving God that in which we were made in the image, it would make sense that it would line up with most people's moralities. You know what I'm saying? Like we all would agree killing is not good. We all would agree raping is not good. So anything that would say otherwise, we would question like, I don't think this was meant to be there. Not that I'm saying that yeah. that is, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, so, and that's again, under the assumption we were made in God's image and that he is all loving. But as I said, game of telephone is what I believe in that the real meaning was lost and we have the multi-generational translation in front of us. And even look at that. Look, look at how many English translations there are of the Bible. You know, there's like, if you Google variations of the Bible, there's tons. And those are going to be different for each religion. Like, you know, there's, I can't remember all the names, but you understand what I'm saying? Like yeah. the the, te- the individual sentences will be different and therefore the meaning would be different. Based on how you interpret those sentences. Like, what's your background? What is it, Greek Orthodox? Yeah. Okay. Which, te- and technically there wasn't, right, like Christmas, right? But you still did Christmas and stuff like that? <laughs> no, there, I there thought, was. I, don't, I thought, ground, I mean, or maybe you just did it the day before, right? Well, we actually, for holidays, we actually went to my, the other church, Vegetation. Okay. With the other the side other of the family. Side of the family yeah. Okay. So I have no, no, I know they did like, everything over there too we just never went for holidays there okay but that was a horrible experience in that church because they did the greek version of everything and then the english version of everything so, so like, it was twice wait, you guys like you guys had like an hour mass right yeah this was like a four hour mass <laughs> oh my god everything so they did so it you both can ways. kind of understand why i don't really <laughs> like church yeah. to yeah. begin with but what's um yeah i don't know that's another thing too like going to church doesn't make you a good Catholic on its own. Yeah. You know, praying on your own doesn't make you a good Catholic on your own. Like, you should be doing things if, if you're claiming to be, or you just, know. You don't even have to do any of that. Just be a good person. That's what that's what I was about to say. Like, doing things that makes you a good person. Like, who cares if you give $100 to the church if you're going to scoff at the homeless guy right yeah. outside? Yeah. You're, you're basically a dick to me at that point anyway. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, I would rather someone who's a good person and a religious than... A, a bunch of Catholics that are just fake. Yeah, and the reason I consider myself a good person because I said I believe in karma. Yep. So if I'm going to put good out there, I'd like to expect and hope that good comes back. But and I've always well, said, even I've always said that too. Like, like if there is a God and He created us to live like this life, it's like, do you really think He'd want you there every day for a couple hours? Like, just fucking live your life. You know what I mean? Yeah, He would want. Yeah. I'm not saying anything against. No, yeah, I understand you know doing I mean? that, but I'm but just saying like free will. Yeah. Free will. Yeah. And like even that, like you, you said the karma system. Like I, I also have that jumbled into my conglomerate of what I believe Beliefs. in. But I also, you know, I try and do things as well. Like 
part of the problem is if there is an expectation, then like for instance, Catholics, Christians, et cetera, et cetera, people of religion, a lot of people do good things with the expectation. Like if I do this, I'll get to heaven, I'll get to paradise, I'll get to X, Y, Z. And it's the same thing with the karma. I do good things. I expect good things. But wouldn't we? Wouldn't it be an amazing world if all of us just good did good things? Like, all right, you know, I'll, I might never see Mike again. Nothing might ever happen. Wait, why is that? Arbitrarily, this is arbitrary. <laughs> but like, maybe Mike was like, "Hey, man, like, I need two dollars and twenty cents for gas. Like, my car's done. I give him two twenty cents. I move on. I never see Mike again. I never get anything for that two twenty. Shouldn't matter." Like you just do it for the sake of doing. Yeah, you don't do it for reward. Yeah. That's where the that's where the whole karma thing is interesting because I feel like if if that side of thinking, like if you expect, like you shouldn't, you should never expect exactly. for something good yeah. to come back because you're just. But everyone does. Disappointed more than half the time. Well, I don't, Religious people, karmic I people, a religious like, people. <clears throat> tend to believe in like the actual like idea of the karma, but yeah, it's, neither do it's I. It's just a simplified fact where like. If you do bad things, bad things are going to happen to you. Like, if you're constantly fucking selling drugs well, yeah, to that's kids, just a yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're just going to, your life's going to turn yeah. into shit. That's just is what it, that is what it if is. If you're constantly putting <laughs> exactly. out good shit, I mean. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, mine's not an expectation, more so just this is the system I wish everyone followed mm. yeah, almost yeah, to, to like, yeah. So, I know, I just believe, like, if everyone followed this system of karma and that, we all only tried to put good out, yeah. then yeah. only good would ever come back to everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because everyone's just a revolving door of good yeah. happiness, but, and, sprinkles, and yeah. that would be. I mean, that would be great, as I said. But there's always going to be people, pe be people in whatever religion, even karma, that will feel slighted if they're not getting that same good. Like, how many people do you hear? Like, you know, I deserve better. I deserve better than this because yeah, I'm a good person. Why? All this. Why? Yeah, that's that's and that's the same thing with every group of people. Yeah, but there's a fine line also of like constantly doing good and then like getting like stepped on you know what i mean what do you mean like just like people saying. walk all over you yeah and then doing good you know what i mean like yeah yeah no i you need I, to I want yeah, yeah. Like, you can't expect like, yeah, yeah you have to but also, you also put can't work. have people just constantly shit on you oh, yes. yeah like, just, you know what i mean like yeah, yeah. hey do all this shit oh, yes right. yes like oh, no I wish something would happen yeah i do good <laughs> now like no it doesn't work like that again but that's also part of the expectation like they're yeah. expecting I'm doing these yeah. good things. I should be getting stuff in return. You, you you live a much happier life if you do things without the expectation. Yeah, well, there yeah there comes a point where you need to realize that there's probably some people out there that feel like they have like no control. Yeah. Where they're just sort of out there and everything that happens, there's a meaning behind everything they're yeah. doing. Yeah. yeah. Whereas like our destiny, yeah. destiny too, or de yeah. destiny. <laughs> uh -huh. When people like you need to people need to come to the realization that. Like you have the ability to dictate Change where you're yeah, going. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. You could be a, a terrible piece of human refuse, or you can be the <laughs> kindest person ever. Yeah. It's all you. It always has been. It always will be. You know, regardless of what you believe the future will be. Now there was one more point I wanted to bring up, just because it's been fresh in my head, and I forgot my other point. So hopefully it comes back to me. <laughs> but I was at my brother's community college graduation yesterday, and I'm still confused. Did you just flip me the bird into that one? Oh, okay, I don't remember. That's fine. And uh, I was at his community college graduation. First, first off, graduations fucking suck, and that could be all another conversation. Yeah, I fucking despise yeah, them. Yeah. <laughs> but I was I was there, and there was so many people. And in the beginning of it, you know, a priest goes up there to do a prayer, and I was standing there. I was like, "Well, why are we doing this? Why is this here?" I understand some people that's important for them. Mm -hmm. But other people, if they have really strong beliefs against that, why yeah. are you going to impose on their graduation? Why mm -hmm. do we have to do it at all? And then I started to have like a big problem with that because I don't understand why we have to force religion into some situations when you don't know if everyone's – if that's everyone's belief, go ahead. Yeah. Look, do a prayer at the graduation. No, I, I, like I completely Catholic agree university. with you. Yeah, Catholic University, yeah, absolutely. But yeah. why are we at a public, a public community college, yep. not a private school, not anything, doing a prayer? Yeah. So why do saying. we have to force religion into some things? That's because we don't have full separation of church and state. But how, and that's how, its is, own that, problem. Yeah, how is that still a thing? Because that, that's who's in control. Like we literally have the, like I'm not going to get super political, but we literally have the party that wants no separation of church and state more so than the other. Not no, but wants mm. less. You know what I mean? Like we literally, there are people that are like, keep God in schools. You know what I mean? And yeah. that is overwhelmingly Republican. And that's who we overwhelmingly have in office. So as long as that's the case, we're going to continue to see that. 
I mean, all in all, we're seeing less. Like people now can sit for the pledge, and it's not as like crazy as it would have yeah. been like 20, 30 years like, ago. We, you didn't. You, I barely ever saw that. I think I saw one person. I yeah, there was did. maybe I one person yeah. who ever saw. But now, like, it's, it's getting more school. common, and that's because people are are saying like, yeah, you know, like this does say under God, and I I'm not accepting that. And for better or worse, it, it there should be separation of church and state. And I even even as a religious person, because like. If we didn't have separation of church and state, like what if what if Islam was the main religion? Like imagine how many people's heads would explode yeah. right now if like Islam became the overwhelming ma- majority religion yeah. in in America, and then they you know they'd be like, oh, now we'd want separation of church and state. But because theirs is in charge, yeah. why would did they you, want the separation? Did you mean head explode by like suicide bombers or? Nonetheless, <laughs> see, like there's like that's that that ties into the point. Like there's no. I haven't said anything bad about any other group, you know, and, and you made the pedophile joke earlier. You made the head exploding from Islam joke. I know it's jokes. It's low hanging that, fruit. It's easy. But, well, it's, but it does perpetuate. It's true, though. Why is it true? There's extremism. There's extremists everywhere. That's that's the yeah, point know, I'm making. Like there's. I'm saying they're real people. It's true. It happens. Yes, it happens. And it happens in every group of people. That's what I'm saying. So like I can make a joke about any group of people if I wanted to, but that doesn't help correct the problem or help address the actual underlying roots of the problem and whatnot. So there's some other. So I think we're, we're going to end the talk time yeah, here yeah. because my do you know kind of also ties into this sure, a little sure. bit, and I have some other points that I'm going to make there. I wish I had some like more, coffee. more crazy like, well yeah more coffee, <laughs> more, <laughs> but more like interesting views on all this i mean i feel like i didn't add anything i, I don't I mean not i don't know because you were the I'm median in, yeah because well, <laughs> I'm, I'm in a state right now where i don't know where i stand with any of that and that's, and that's fine, fine. Yeah. exactly as long as it's always you as long as no one's saying like influencing join my it. cult right now I'm you know me. isn't that nuts for a second before we ended that like the, what was the guy's name who made everyone drink the punch how how powerful how powerful the crazy thing being yeah. how powerful I think faith is yeah where all these people believed in what this guy said I and mean, even for just a second that however Hitler motivated millions yeah. of people to do what he did yeah. on faith of building a better system not in just, the world not just well, faith. I mean yeah but th- those had, people were beyond desperate that's what I mean, I mean exactly the economy was shit everybody well, was that's starving. what I'm saying they needed desperation the power of breeds hope, extremism hope, desperation and faith it's like it's, it's well, a powerful that's everything that we see right now too yeah desperation yeah. breeds that extremism it's powerful if you're not being fed you're not being clothed and a group of religion says hey we we'll got feed it. you, but you fight for us. I mean, even as simple as take just it. like small gangs and cities and stuff that's how that starts yep, yep. yep. just poor kids that yep don't have anything going for them. exactly yeah, it's a shame. but that's how it works it's everywhere a, it's a scary scary world yeah or maybe our most serious talk time yet we'll be back with then a little, a little separation separation from this topic in our would you rather Yay. right now thank you guys for watching or listening please subscribe to our youtube channel at youtube.com slash foreplay video if you like what we're doing make sure to smash that like button Be sure to share all our videos with your friends so we can uh, continue to grow. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.